No, dude. The worst song. I guess Bomb of the Well. Bomb of the Well is actually really bad because I'm so under-equipped. Especially because it's out of logic, too. But, like, I'm probably not going to find bombs there. I think... Yeah, I think Ruta Valley... Ruta Valley, like, Hylia. Dude, I bet Richard is something good. I bet I should be waiting for Richard, but I don't want to be... You know what? It's almost running night. Oh, I might as well Nocturne just so I can get Dampe. I knew it. I had a feeling that, considering how under-equipped I was, I had to... That Richard had to have been something good. Oh my god. And Slingshot. Alright, now, now we're getting somewhere. I have a feeling that Slingshot might give me the Way of the Hero reward in Lost Woods. Well, Bombs and Slingshot combined for sure will. Okay, current plan right now, Gerudo Valley, Lake Hylia, don't go into Domain. Gerudo Valley, Lake Hylia, back to Hyrule Field, get all the Hyrule Field Grottos, Minuet, Lost Woods cleanup, if needed, Boron City cleanup, and then Adult. Come on. Your time to go to the hero, okay. I probably should do Child Spirit. Bottle. I didn't get the House of Skulltail rewards either. What am I doing? Oh yeah, now Bomb of the Well would be good. Yeah, like 10 minutes ago was really bad, but now it's actually good. Um, I guess I probably will be end up going back to CAC for a third time. Since I forgot House of Skulltail and the Redead Grotto. So yeah, I guess I'll get Bomb of the Well on my third trip. Uh, no. I wanted to make a football targeting cow. Yes, what a wonderful UP count. There's Mirror Shield. Sick. Sick. Alright, I won't waste my juice. Oh no. Nice. Oh, that probably means I don't really need to do Child Spirit, or... I probably should still do Child Spirit. Unless I get Hover Boots. I think Hover Boots is my pass to skip Child Spirit. Oh, nice. Oh, I have not been getting the Fairy Fountains. I've actually been forgetting about them. Dude, what if Hammer's in Bomb the Well again? I don't have Boomerang. Oh well. I'll we'll have to light the torches here. Or wait, I have Lullaby, so I should be doing this later. Want the truth? In Bomb the Well. Here. For the fans. Well, it wasn't truly a vanilla item. Just vanilla... Vanilla map location, I guess. Was that two heart containers in a row? Yes, I'm very healthy. That oh, was Stone of Agony? Yeah. Come on. All the hearts in Bomb the Well. How many hearts did I enter Bomb the Well with? Uh, I think go adult now. I think I can skip Child Spirit. Well, I can skip Child Spirit if I get lucky with keys. Do I want to risk it on getting lucky with keys or... No, I should just do Child Spirit. YOLO no balls. No. Uh, the only glitches I'm restricting myself from doing is RBA wrong work SRM, just because obviously those glitches just get you guaranteed items and let you beat the game without collecting stuff. They kind of defeat the purpose. Man, still no boomerang. I mean, I don't need boomerang. I don't need Jabu, but I like having boomerang. Wait, was that just vanilla? Was that chew chest? Actually, choose, dude. Did I get two seeds in a row where I had a Stone of Agony as a fool and I dodged them both? And you guys wanted me to get the Stone of Agony. Oh, hey. That's why you set for Rose Wind.
First try. Okay, so technically Child Spirit doesn't really have anything good, but it got me up to Hover Boots. I could have gotten Hover Boots as an adult, but like, I think it worked out fine. I don't have a prelude. Sucks. Okay, I think go straight to Spirit and finish Spirit and then probably finish Water and then I guess go through Fire and hope for Hammer. Oh yeah, Spirit was way of the hero, wasn't it? Yeah, so. Yeah, Spirit first is a good choice either way. Wait, after all, did I get Iron Boots? I didn't get Iron Boots, did I? No. Dins. I already hit the switch, dude. Uh, okay. Or wait, I don't know if this works. Well, regardless of if this works or not, you guys are at least gonna enjoy it. No, it doesn't reach. Rip. No, hook shotting, weird shotting the nibble is actually a legit strat there. Cause, like, I don't need to lower the mirror, cause I could do statue climb and clip in. Like, there's no item check that this mirror gives. So I could weird shot, hook shot the nipple, and then I just get to the boss room faster. If I had long shot, I'd do it. At one point, it was an optimal strat for Hundo. There was a time where that was the best thing to do for Hundo. Wait, Spirit Temple was way of the hero, right? Did I get any important item in Spirit Temple? I mean, it could be Twin Robo Heart Container, but I don't remember getting anything in Spirit. Oh, I got Dins, right, okay. Uh, wait a sec. Oh no, that's bad, actually. Because Shadow is not required. So if Dins is way of the hero, I have an item in Shadow Temple. That's not good. Because now I don't know if it's Light Arrows or Hammer. If it's Light Arrows, I kind of, like, I don't want to go to Shadow, but... Because ideally I just get the Light Arrow hint, but I can't get the Light Arrow hint without beating Fire. Are you serious? Are you really going to do this? Yeah, at least I have Nocturne. No, the only requirement for Dins is getting into Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess Shadow BK room too. But, I mean both ways, it's Shadow specifically. Oh, well, speaking of Hammer. Okay, that's good. That probably means that my Spirit Temple Way of the Hero was Hammer and not Dins. Oh. Yeah, it was probably Hammer and not Dins. Hopefully. Okay, I'm in pseudo go mode, I think. All right, so now I will use the knowledge gained last run from failing that one trick over and over, and I will use it to not fail this time. Watch this, watch me get this first try. Uh, I have a lot of health. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Yeah, dude, it's all because of Bomb of the Well. I never should have gone to Bomb of the Well. It was actually, not only did Bomb of the Well not have anything good, it was detrimental. The items I got in Bomb the Well actually are slowing me down. Actually, you know what? Alright, first try. Stupid Bomb of the Well. How much time did I lose from getting hearts from Bomb of the Well? Each heart is 8 seconds, I got 4 hearts. Was it 4 hearts or 5 hearts? But yeah, like 32, 32 to 40 seconds lost. Because of all the hearts I got. Much faster than last time. See? The practice paid off. I told you. It's just for future randos. Future being later that day. Link is called, he says only his game can have zombie hovers. Well, you know what? If only Windraker gets to have zombie hovers, then only OOT gets to have super swims. Because OOT found super swims first. So if he's willing to make that trade, then sure. Alright, so I just need to uh, beat Water Temple. If I'm lucky, I get light arrows there. Yeah, TP was technically the first game to have back in time. TP has a lot of stuff. Like, the, the memes about TP not having new glitches is about, like, is specifically about TP not having anything new in several years, not about TP not having a lot of glitches in general. Because TP is super broken. Like, TP has lots of stuff. It's just that all the stuff that TP has 
was from like 2011 and earlier at least like the big stuff there's been plenty of small stuff since then but it hasn't really had a big thing in a very long time Uh, no, I'm not gonna do another rando after this. I will probably do some Animal Crossing, though. But this is just so I can check the light arrow hint and have a fast warp back. Death Mountain Trail. Did I not get the Song of Storms Grotto? It's- it's magic. It's a magic fairy fountain. <laughs> or maybe Vigoron? Well, let me check Magic Fairy Fountain first, but I'm pretty sure Vigoron hint was, uh, Vigoron crafts a heart. Uh, recovery heart. But that might have been last rando, and I don't remember for sure. Although I feel like I got a Vigoron hit both randos. It definitely was first rando. Okay, maybe it is Vigoron. I did get, I did get eye drops early, so maybe that was like a hint. Dude, is it really? And it turned it into prescription. Let me just double check to make sure I got the, the chest down here. Pretty sure I already got it. Yeah, I got it. Alright, let me double check this grotto. Okay, it's... Yeah, it's, uh... Big Iron Sword. Rip. Uh, I forgot to re-equip Big Iron Sword and now I want Hookshot. No, I'll show the Deku B1 web after this. Remind me, because even after I just said that two minutes away from finishing, I'm still going to forget. Sub 219. Oh boy. So my estimate for the thing tomorrow is sub 230, and both my randos were sub 230, so that's good. So I can't wait to get a terrible seed tomorrow, where I end up being like three hours. Alright, so I hope you guys like the double rando. So yeah. All right, let me show you guys the Deku Tree web. That is very interesting. All right, hopefully this still works just by warping into Deku. It should. Okay, so uh, some of you guys might know there's, there's a strat where in Deku Tree, you break the web when you're going to the basement and the second web that leads to the bottom, the very bottom room before Goma's room, the second web will be unloaded and you can just like go right through it without having to burn it. So it's something that's been known for a very long time, but we never, quite understood how it actually worked until recently. So I'm going to show off why it works and it's super interesting. Might actually not work if I do it like this. Hopefully it works. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah. So as you can now see, the web is not blocking anything. So let's take a look at Collision Viewer and see what's actually going on. See this green cone? That is actually the collision of the web that just broke. So the web that just broke, its collision gets transferred over to this web. Because that's, that's the shape it makes when you're breaking it. And... I'm not sure the details on it. I know, I know Fig looked into it and like, figured out all the technical stuff about it, but... Yeah, the collision for the web up there when you break it gets transferred down over here. And as soon as you touch the web, then it fixes itself. So that's why, like, if you jump to the middle of the web, then suddenly the web is fully loaded again. But it's actually just checking for collision, I guess. But yeah, it's su super weird, super cool. So yeah, like, when I, when I break the web here, you can see what I'm talking about. You can see the shape of it. Okay, well, if the camera would cooperate. But yeah, see? And that also explains another mystery, because uh, we never understood why it only worked the first time you entered Deku. Okay, yeah, I think save states mess with this. We never understood why it only worked the first time you entered Deku, and like all the other times it never messed up, and now we know it's because you didn't just break that web. So it only happens if you come down here from breaking the web. If you break the basement web first and then go back up to the lobby, will the same thing happen? I think uh, there's a bit more technical stuff involving something involving the camera. So I think 
it would depend on if you're able to manipulate the camera in the right way. Uh, but in theory, I want to say probably if you could set it up properly, but setting it up properly probably requires a lot more crazy stuff is my guess. I, I don't want to say anything definitive, but if I had to take a guess, I'd say probably, but would require a significant more, significantly larger amount of setup. Yeah, you can break the lower web with enough sp fall speed. In fact, in OT3D, it's actually the main strat. Because in OT3D, when you do the mega side hop here, when you do the mega side hop off this guy, you actually get anti-grav on the, on the ceiling down there, which actually puts you in a perfect position to land on the web and then you break it. So OT3D actually pretty much always breaks this web from fall, uh, from fall speed, which is pretty cool. Cause it's like you break the web, you make a side hop, you immediately break the next web. Bit more cool stuff. I'll show a dumb stuff. Yeah, it is pretty dumb. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it for OOT for now, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the stream. I have one more game to play.